Hello guys, how are you doing? I thought I'd do a, uh, I guess I'd call this a Friday vlog. Um, nothing much going on. I always keep saying that, nothing much going on, I don't know. I don't know why I did yesterday's vlog, you know. I really don't like to say personal things on here, you know. But I just did it for the heck of it. I know not a lot of people want to watch my drama stuff, you know, but oh well. You know. Just me, I guess. Um, there's nothing much. What else I want to say? I got nothing much going on right now. I'm just bad one. I was gonna do some uh, work last night, and I didn't do it because I wasn't in the mood to do it. And I was talking to some friends, and that's pretty much about it. And watched the movies I'm watching on Hulu. The Hulu dot com and watching like Twitch at first. It's a pretty good show. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but it's about these two girls I got switched at birth. I mean one girl, Daphne, is deaf, and the other girl, Bay, is by which parent, but that they're the two girls I got switched. And it's about deaf people and how they learn how to sign and I think that's pretty cool how a show like that can it's not it's not about definitely it's about how these two families really have to deal with these two girls being put that bus and how they have to come together as a family and get to know each other. You know, but also how the birth family had to deal with the biological daughter being deaf. You no, know, and learning more about the deaf girl and deaf culture. And I think, I think it's a pretty cool show. I'm keeping tabs on that. Um, that's what I watched. I watched a, another movie. I watched some of most family on YouTube. I gotta really get back into my artwork I'm doing. I'm doing like a family. I think, I don't know if I said this in my other vlog, but I'm doing like a family um, history with pictures in it from down the line. So I gotta do that. Um, yeah, we got snow on the ground last night, and then all of a sudden it melted it away. I was going to vlog, but I've got to take my camera out and show you some pictures. It's just, like, we've been getting snow, and all of a sudden it just, like, melts away, like, really fast. I guess because we're getting warmer temperatures here in Michigan, and we usually get about 30, 40 degree weather. Yeah, and usually we get we still get snow on the ground, but we haven't lately. And that's kind of strange, you know. But, oh well, I guess it's the weather for you. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, being goofy right now. Just being a little goofy, goofy. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Nothing much going on. I did a oh I did apply to a couple of jobs. I applied to J C Penney's. I applied to I applied again at Walmart, and I passed the little assessment test. You know, I passed that, and I applied at Myers, but I just gotta wait and find out if they still want me on. So you know, I went to see if I hear from them. I was going to like um call them say hey, I applied da 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 uh, would you still be interested for me to work at your store da, da. but I thought no I better not because they're gonna say yeah 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 I will look at your application when I know they have like stacks of applications after applications so I just gotta keep going out. I found a couple of janitorial jobs one janitorial job I'm thinking of applying for is is they have benefits like you can get a dental, you can get life insurance, you can do that. But you have to have like two or three years of janitorial work, and I do. I have almost eight years of working as a janitor at the local Y. I still gotta get to the YMCA because I got a free day pass from there. And I want to go out and check it and see some co workers, but I don't know. It's like, why would I want to go back to a place that? just laid me off without actually telling me the reason why they laid me off. They they said because of reducing staff members 
come found out three or four weeks later they were having a job fair to hire 120 new staff members members and I was supposed to get laid off. I thought it was it still bugging me how I got like go. Oh, you know if they would have actually told me the truth and told me the reason the real reason why they let me go, then I would have been okay with it, you know. I knew I was gonna make a career out of it, but it was an okay job. You know, at least I had some a paycheck every two weeks, you know. What you can do, you know, I got to, I got to go down there and get my W-2 forms for my taxes. My mom told me that, she said, she, she would tell me last night, did you get your W-2 forms yet? And I'm like, no, they haven't come in mail. She said, well, you go down and see if you can get them. Because I guess my brother went to this place where I guess it's only for this month and only until the end of this month they will do your taxes for you. Some tax business that would do taxes for free and I thought that was not bad. So either I'm gonna go down this weekend or next week and see if I can get my W two if they haven't come in the mail yet. I know they would probably send it in the mail if I haven't come and got them. So I have to do that. So yeah. I'm thinking about doing some freelancing businesses online, looking at some freelancing business for graphic design online. See if I can get something with that. Maybe do that as like a part time on the side type of job, you know. But I don't know. I'm kind of. I don't know why I haven't do, done that lately. It's just that I. I guess because I'm kind of nervous about doing that and then them not thinking that I'm that good in my work to be one of the employers for the business, you know. I, I just have, I just overanalyze things, you know, and I gotta quit doing that to myself all the time, so. I don't know. I didn't, I don't know. I have a lot to think about. Now, hopefully, I will get one of these jobs from JCP my years came out, because my buddy, the one I told you that down the road, she, they're looking for a roommate, but I also come to find out that um, their landlord wants his roommate that he has now, the other guy that lives with them, to move out in September, because that's when the lease is up. And she said he gets to live there, but he knows he has to find another roommate, because he can't afford, I think it's $600 a month, right? So, he said that his roommate is going to be out of there in September anyways. And he said, if you want, you can move in. Well, they already have room for rent, but I'm thinking maybe by the time September, October, I'll have a job. I know that. I know I'll have a job. And maybe I can just move in. You know, that'd be kind of nice. I'd be just down the road from my parents' house. So, yeah, and I gotta work on my, I gotta work on my license, too. Uh, what am I gonna do with me? You know, I can be a cookie weird guy, but. It's me, you know. All right, I just can't come kind of out here. I just want to do a little bit of bab babble, tell you what's going on with my life so far. We got a little bit of it yesterday, but that was kind of like a stupid little vlog. I, did. I don't know even why I did it. So, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys have a good Friday and have a good weekend. And see you when I see you. I guess. Bye.